Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Arrowhead Outdoors Cooking. Today we're in the cut kitchen cooking a couple Sand Hill Crane. We shot these a few weeks ago and we just pulled them out of the freezer and thawed them out and now we're ready to put them in our belly. So if you're not familiar with Sand Hill Crane, shame on you because it is the best bird you will ever eat. Wild turkey, pheasant, quail, duck, goose, all good. None of it compares to ribeye of the sky. So. We're going to teach you a very quick, easy recipe that anyone can do as long as you can shoot a sandhill crane and breast it out. So stick around and we're going to show you. So you only need four things to cook this. Some olive oil, some black pepper. Side note, it tastes better and is fancier if you have a little crusher thing you use. Ranch seasoning, it will hide that. Um, some ranch seasoning, and then the greatest seasoning ever made, Red River Ranch Seasoning by Kent Rollins, the king of cowboy cooking, the cookie himself, Dutch oven cooking or, and, and uh, chuck wagon cooking. You guys gotta check this guy out. He, has, he makes an amazing seasoning. We use it on everything. So those are the four things you need. So first, we're just gonna liberally put olive oil over these goose breasts, or St. Hill Crane, rather. And I'm gonna coat them really good. Now we've already trimmed these up, washed them, brined them, done everything you need to do with wild game. Then after we do that, I'm now going to put a little bit of ranch seasoning on them. then you want to put a liberal amount of that on there. I'm going to use the Red River seasoning. We're just going to, we're just coating them all over. Okay. Yep. And then you want to crack some pepper on there. And that's all we're doing. We're just coating it really good with those um, three seasonings. We're using the olive oil to really just basically hold it on there, use it as the glue. And you know what? I decided I'm gonna lose my mind. Go get the minced garlic out of the uh, fridge, please. We're gonna go ahead and slap a little minced garlic on here because why wouldn't you? So why don't you go and just put a little squirt in my hands. We'll put just a little bit, ooh, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. We're just gonna pat that on there too. Mm, who doesn't like garlic? So now that these are all um, coated up, I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm, uh, I'm just joking. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick instead of licking them off. And then we have the smoker outside, we're using a pellet smoker, vertical, um, and we're going, we already have the smoker going. 300 degrees. We're going to go out, put these on there, cook them for about 30 to 45 minutes to where the inside is around 125 degrees. Then we're going to pull them off, let them sit for about 10 minutes. Because really what we want, we, this is literally cooked just like a steak. We want it to be medium rare. If you're cooking your steaks more than medium rare, you're overcooking them. And that's just gross. Just go order you a hamburger if you're going to do that. So we're going to cook these a medium rare. So stick around so you can see how good this is going to turn out. Okay, so set it on 300, it's at 295 right now. So I'd say that's close enough. So we're just gonna set them both on here. Van is gonna close it up and prime it some more to get some more pellets in there to really get it smoky. And we're gonna set it in there and we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. We're not gonna check on it, we're gonna do, we're not gonna do anything for 30 minutes. We'll come out and check it at 30 minutes. If the temperature's where we need it to be on the internal temperature of the breast, we'll pull it off. If not, we'll give it 45 minutes. At 45 minutes, regardless of where it is, we're pulling it off and get ready to eat because we are starving. So we had them on the smoker right at 30 minutes, check the internal temperature. They're at 122, so we let them sit for 10 minutes and it went up a little higher, so now we're just gonna slice it. Ooh, that looks good. You know, we let it sit for 10 minutes. Mm. Mm. That looks perfect. See that steam coming all the way through? Mm. Mm. 
cut a few pieces off thicker. Let's take this guy. Okay, he'll take a chunk. What do you think? Oh. Very tender, very good. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Perfect. Very tender. Mm -hmm. I like that. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get you another piece. That's good stuff. You can't go wrong cooking this like this. Great flavor. Um, the meat itself already has great flavor, so the seasonings that we added just help enhance the flavor. Um, mm. oh Cutting it thin like this makes two of the crane breasts go a fairly long way, so mm -hmm. highly recommend it. This is awesome. Yeah. So we need to decide to go with it. So we took a couple sweet taters, mixed it up with the same, did the same exact thing seasoning that we did with the crane breast, threw it in the air fryer to make fries. And what we like to do with our sweet potato fries is that we like to make campfire sauce, which is just equal parts ranch and barbecue sauce. Mm. That goes perfect with the crane, makes a complete meal. Throw it on a wood board and then once it makes it, was it a charcuterie board, charcuterie board? And then once you have something fancy, you got a fancy word to use, feed it to your friends and family. Y'all have a great, great time. Hope you enjoyed um, this little lesson on this cooking uh, Sand Hill Crane. Hope you can use it in the future. And make sure to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Thanks.